What's up everybody, PyGuyCoding here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the adjacent elements product function on codefights.com. So this one's a little bit different. What they're going to be asking us to do is basically multiplying the first index by the next and then getting the product that is the largest between adjacent um, elements. So hence the name adjacent elements product. So the example that they give is they have 3, 6, negative 2, negative 5, 7, and 3. And it should return 21. And that's because if you do 7 and 3, then it gives you 21. And 7 and 3 are adjacent. And their product is the largest out of each product that is adjacent. So 6 times 3, no, that wouldn't work. That's 18. 6 times negative 2 wouldn't work because then that's negative. Negative 2 times negative 5 wouldn't work because that's 10, and 7 times 3 is bigger than 10. And then if we have negative 5 times, ne times oops, sorry, if we have negative 5 times 7, then that's going to give us a negative. So 7 and 3 is clearly the largest product. So in order to do this, it's actually less tricky than you think. So what I, the way I did it, and I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it, but the way I did it is I first made an empty array. And I just made this and called it final array. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be iterating over the list of numbers and we're going to be appending the products. And then we're basically just going to find the largest product and then return that value, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop to iterate over each item in the list. So if we say for i in range, which just means in a certain um, number. So if we say in range length of input array, and then minus one, because otherwise you'll get a um, out of index or out of range error or something like that, and it won't work. So then you go when we go into the for loop we're going to be iterating over each item in a in input array so and then we're going to have to append it to that to final array so if we do final array dot append and what we want to do is we want to append the product of input array sub i and what this sub does is that it just basically takes the number at that point in the iteration. So it starts at 0, so it's going to be at 0. So input array sub 0. And then at sub 0 is, in this case, 3. Or in the example that they give us. So if we do final array dot append input array sub i times input array sub i plus 1. Now what this will do is it'll actually multiply i, which in this case we said was 3, and then i plus 1, which means it just goes over 1. Because if it was 0, if i is 0, and then you add 1 to that, that's index 1. And index 1 in this case would be 6. So we're going to append the pro or add the product. I shouldn't say add. We're going to put the product of 3 and 6 into final array. So we have final array dot append input array sub i times input array sub i plus 1. Then what we're going to do is we are going to make a, um, a variable called result and we're basically going to set it equal to or assign it to the max of final array. And the max function is actually really helpful in this case because what we're doing is we have a list of all the adjacent products and we just want to know which one's the greatest. So then we can just return result. And we can see if this will work. And it does. It works for every case. So if we submit it, it works. Okay, it's perfect. 
So you can see, obviously, everyone's different um, with their solution, and I'm sure there's a probably cleaner way to do this, but this is just the way that I thought about doing it. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.